back to Ava's Flavor. I'm Ava, and on today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to make something super duper delicious. Um, it's going to be pumpkin cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Yay! Um, pumpkin is my fave, and it's starting to feel like fall outside. Um, I can smell it, and so I decided that I wanted to make something uh, with pumpkin. So, I did. Uh, roll it up and pass it around. <laughs> um, so, let me show you guys the what you're gonna need. So first what you're going to need is a half a cup of canned pumpkin, one eight count package of cinnamon rolls. Okay, in here I have a quarter cup brown sugar and a half a teaspoon pumpkin pie spice. Okay, so this is for the topping. I'm going to show you guys how to make some toasted coconut and I got here about a third a cup. Okay, are you guys ready to get rolling? <laughs> okay, so all you're going to do is take your quarter cup uh, brown sugar and pumpkin pie spice and you're just going to dump it into your um, half a cup of canned pumpkin um, not pumpkin pie filling but although I guess you could use that just leave out the um, the sugar and the pumpkin pie spice I feel like that sounded confusing Sometimes I have a habit of doing that, huh, Jello? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so you're just gonna stir this around, and I always just like to stick and dip. I mean, <laughs> and taste. Mmm, tastes good. Perfect. And then you can test here too if it needs a little bit of um, more pumpkin pie spice. You can add a little bit more. Do whatever you want. And now we are going to set that to the side. And we're going to unroll our cinnamon rolls. And I hate doing this because it scares me every time. So, uh, they're both standing back. <laughs> cinnamon rolls and um, your cream cheese frosting. Let me set this to the side. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Okay, we're going to set this to the side. Oh, there's still one in there. <laughs> there's still one in here. And um, shoot, I guess I got the wrong ones. The last time I got the ones that you unroll and then put the filling in and roll it back up. But uh, we can make this work. So, so usually, <laughs> this is turning into a disaster, but usually you get the ones that unroll and then put the uh, filling in there, roll it back up, and put them in the pan, but these already just come, already cut for you, right? I guess I never got these before, but whatever. So what I'm going to do is, um, okay, I'm going to set these in here, and then I'm just going to put the, um, the pumpkin pie mixture over the top and then bake them in the oven for I think the container said like 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes okay so just spread there see we can make it work and then just dump this on the top and uh, then I'll show you guys how to make the toasted coconut all right guys so I smeared the cinnamon rolls in delicious uh, pumpkin mixture and now I'm just gonna slap this in my um, preheated 400 degree oven for 10 minutes or so until they're nice and fluffed up and they're done in the center so I'll see you guys then okay guys I'm gonna show you how to toast some coconut with Chevo thinks is a waste because he says everybody knows how to toast coconut but maybe you didn't so I'm here to help you out um, you can do this two ways. You can spread it, sprinkle it out on a cookie sheet at like 350 and toast it till it's nice and how you like it, toasted. Or you can take a dry skillet like what I'm going to do. 
because <laughs> uh, I like to dirty more pans and make things complicated. I'm just going to dump this in here and on medium and I'm just kind of, kind of, I'm going to break it up a little bit and just let it sit here and when it starts to look like crispy, I'll just, or not crispy, starting to get toasted, I'm going to move it around a little bit. So it doesn't take very long, just make sure you don't walk away. Oh, and a notorious TIP to uh, toasted coconut is super good on yogurt. Um, sprinkle it on some ice cream, anything. So it's good if you uh, just have it and toast it and keep it in a Ziploc baggie or just to snack on. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be here and get toasted and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so the cinnamon rolls were in there about 13 minutes and I think I kinda like it this way a little better because it's not as messy, you know, because I'm used to uh, rolling the cinnamon rolls that you kind of roll out in a sheet, you know what I mean, and then uh, roll them up. But this is what it looks like it's going to be perfect. Um, the toasted, or the coconut's toasted. It's looking beautiful. I don't think I'm going to use all of that. Um, I'll just keep it in a little Ziploc baggie and just kind of snack on it. And then I um, put the cream cheese frosting in a little um, container and put it in the microwave for a couple seconds just to heat it up so I could add some more pumpkin spice, which you don't have to do, of course. But I just love um, pumpkin spice because it's so delicious and everything nice. And then I'm going to sprinkle on the coconut, which again, you don't have to do, but it's a nice little... Um, added touch All right and of course you can always make your own cream cheese frosting which is super duper easy but I just wasn't feeling it today okay so and this one is quite tasty so we'll just go with that and this is nice and easy all right now I'm just gonna go through with my coconut and just um, sprinkle some on top and then cut a piece and eat it. So look at this is perfect for the beginning of fall and it makes your house smell wonderful. Shoot, well, you might as well just dump it all on there. It makes your house smell wonderful and you get that pumpkin-y deliciousness that reminds you of fall. So I'm gonna cut, uh, wash my fingers really quick and then put this on a plate and you guys can watch me eat it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna take a bite and my favorite part of the cinnamon roll is always the middle. What about you? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take a big huge bite. Mmm. So super duper yummy and so pumpkin-y. And I think I have some on my face, but that's okay. This would be really good with um, some chai tea. I love pumpkin. To get the pumpkin loaf from Starbucks with a chai tea is one of my faves. Um, but I hope you guys make this. It would be so perfect for breakfast, of course. Um, even for dessert would be perfect. And if you guys love pumpkin, you'll love this. All right. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to me. That would be awesome. I finally made it to 300. Woohoo! And, <laughs> and like my Ava's Flavor Facebook page. And I will see you guys <laughs> next time. Bye.